Hi, good evening. Hello, everyone. Hi, good evening. How Hi, good are evening. you? How was your Friday? Hi, you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work, Anna? Nice, sure. It was nice. Okay. Finish. It finished the work. You finished. Uh, Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and do you have plans for the weekend? Um, uh, doctor, council, uh, you have to go to the doctor. Yes, dental. The uh, tooth, dentist. Dentist. Uh, exactly. Okay. I don't like. I don't like going to the dentist. It's necessary, yeah. but I don't like okay. it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Well, nice to have you over here. Wendy, how was your day at work? Did you sell air tickets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Oh, two, wow. two tickets. Yeah. Two tickets Thank you, today. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you sell tickets every day? Um, Good evening. Hi, Lily. Good evening. A uh, day? Uh, some days. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nothing. Some days, no tickets. But no other tickets. days, three tickets. Other days, one ticket. uh, four, five. Uh, what is the maximum good. that you have sold? For day, uh -huh. for day, um, I remember seven or eight tickets. Mm -hmm. That is a lot. It's a big number in one day. Sounds good. Yes. You are a good <laughs> seller. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, I'm going to take the attendance now that I have some of you. Give me one second. Uh, October 15th, Friday. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Uh, Brian. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Yanine. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Galileo. José Rodrigo, Laura Carolina, okay. Luis Alfonso, okay. María Concepción, María Elena, María Ivania, present teacher, okay. thank you, Nelson Gabarrete, Omar Francisco. I'm here. I'm here, okay. Miss. Thank you, Nelson. Omar Francisco. Eh, Oscar Villatoro. Zaira. Larín. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present. Jenny Suleima. Cristian Lazo. Jose Arnoldo. Good evening. Thank you, Arnoldo. Jose you. Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Juan Carlos Rivas. Thank you. Okay. And Mayra Moreno. Mayra? No, not here yet. Oscar, on your way to your house. Okay, Oscar, um, let me know when you get home, okay? No problem. So, have a nice trip back home. Okay, so now let's let's start. I'm going to uh, share with you the information of the first activity. You have to think about one celebrity, okay? Think about one celebrity. And you have to say things you think this person do in a regular or in, in her non- in her life or his life. Tienen que escoger una celebridad. Okay, a celebrity. Maybe um, an athlete, a soccer player, singer, actor, actress, someone famous. 
Okay, alguien famoso. And you have to say things this person do or does. The others are going to try to guess that who that person is. Van a decir como lo que imaginan que hace. Y los demás vamos a tratar de adivinar de quién están hablando. Okay. For example. Ah, y van a como hacerse pasar por esa persona. You have to say I and then you mention the activities. For example, my husband is Piqué and I live in Europe. He, he plays in the Barcelona yeah. team. So who am I? Shakira. Shakira, right? Okay, so that is what you have to do. Ese que lo he quitado, teacher. <laughs> no, I, I haven't been able to. Todavía no se ha podido. <laughs> so that is the idea. You have to say things and your classmates are going to guess. Ustedes van a decir algunos comentarios sobre esa persona y nosotros adivinamos. Present tense, ¿ok? Vamos a utilizar siempre present tense. Así que hablen de su daily routine, ¿verdad? Activities that he, regular, regular activities. I give concerts. I, I don't know, I sing. Ok, simple present. We are going to start with Juan Carlos. Are you ready, Juan Carlos? Why me, teacher? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We will give you a moment, Juan Carlos. Le vamos a dar un tiempecito ahí para que organice sus ideas. Arme unas cuatro o cinco para que mm, adivinemos. And then you choose the next one. Y de ahí usted escoge el otro. Okay. Okay. ¿Quién sigue? Ok. Ya sé qué celebridad voy a hacer. ¿Ah? Ya sé qué celebridad voy a hacer. Ah, ok. Pero you... yo tengo que decir entonces la, lo que yo hago. O Ajá. sea, lo que esa celebridad hace. Ajá. Ahorita vamos a hacer de caso que es usted Bukele, que es Piqué, no, la, Ricky la, Martin. La no, I don't tampoco, know. teacher. I don't know. Thank you you. Ok. So, are you ready, Juan Carlos? Ok, I'm ready. Ok. I am an actor, action actor. Y I, I film five movies. Eh, en all was success in the 90s in the 90s eh, ¿Sí, uh, in the so, 90s so. no eh, but the quiero ver last year make uh, sequel, sequel is sequel. Uh -huh, sequel. Uh, sequel. But I in El Salvador no no here yet. Hmm. But it's about the planes. Do you have ideas, Blanca, Nelson, Elena? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. No. No. Oh. Ok, eh. continuo, Juan Carlos. <laughs> I drive uh, in my in my first film uh, movie uh, drive a motorcycle in a jet plane. Mm. <laughs> Vin Diesel, Juan Carlos. No. No. The 90s. No. no, Tom Cruise. Oh. Tom Cruise. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay, good, Elena. You helped him. Okay, thank you. So, Juan Carlos, who goes next? Uh, uh, Mr. Lois. Mr. Lois. Mr. Ah, Luis. Luis. Ah, okay, sí. sorry. <laughs> okay, Luis. 
Continue. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. We're going to Avenger. 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 I am an Avenger. No. Okay. Uh, I am no. a. I am a. No, no, no. I am a singer. Uh -huh. I am a singer. I sing music gospel. Jesus Adrián Romero. <laughs> yes. yes. Wow. You read his mind. Le leyeron la mente. Yes, okay, yes, Juan, Carlos. Juan Carlos. Excellent. Okay, yes, uh, Luis. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, María Elena. Elena, okay, Elena. You're the next one. I am a American singer, singer. Mm -hmm. I am a songwriter. Um, um I no no what quiero ver. Um I am a sing um Moth Girl the you go. Try. If <laughs> someone I think, um, no. um, my heart, my hair, um, in Ah, I have a short hair. Uh, I have a short. Uh, I hair. have short hair, yes. Mm, my color is pink in my hair. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pink. 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 Yes. yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, Elena, thank you. Now you, you get to choose the next person. Ana. Ana. Okay, Ana, continue. All right, is a uh, actor, is a uh, instrument, the uh, bass guitar, a uh, guitar and uh, voice, and uh, not Charlie Board works, is para mí de Constantine, is a person, is it is it, it, simple. More, more, Anna. more ideas. Mm. Is a como se dice fiction. Tiene una película que son como cuatro. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Son como uh -huh. cuatro. That is the name of the movie. Yes. yes. Uh, Sometimes the names of the movies change. Algunas cambian totalmente en inglés. Porque si fuera así, literalmente son como, it looks like four, pero no sé si así realmente se llama en inglés. But okay. any other ideas you can give about this person? No, adivina quién es. No. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Ah, de Wanda. Yes. Matrix. Matrix hubiera dicho, Ana. Yo creo que con eso. Así lo iban a adivinar. O Constantine. Ajá, correct. One more person, Ana. Choose the last person. Oscar Arnulfo. Oscar. Okay, Oscar, I think he's driving. Creo que está manejando, Ana. Another person? Oh. Mayra Blanquita también, Costa. ¿no está? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So let's continue, Blanca. Just, Yo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Ana. Okay, I'm right, yeah. <laughs> hey, I am uh, a and I'm from London, England, Inglaterra, how do you say it? 
England. England. Um, let's see, general soul, jazz, pop, um, instrument, tocar, ¿cómo se dice? Play. Play, uh, a guitar, piano, y a ver, ¿qué más? Mm -hmm. I have many songs like Hello, probably in the in the deep uh, somewhere. I'm not somewhere. Turner. Oh. I'm not Turner. No. I'm not Turner. No. 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 Rolling in the deep, say you. Adele. Ah, I imagine ah, yes, Adele. Yes, right? yes. Uh -huh. Sorry, 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 <laughs> but uh, Rolling in the Deep is original. In ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Blanca. Okay, so we continue with the second part on Monday, okay? Porque sé que ya prepararon todos y que quieren pasar, so we continue on Monday with the second part. But for now, I have a video. Again, we will watch a video. You can play it two times. Vamos a ver un video. Lo pueden poner dos veces. And then we will talk a little bit about it. I'm going to send the link in this moment by chat. Please watch it. Veamos el link y luego vamos a hablar de qué es. We will talk about the, the video. Have you finished? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Rodrigo. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you.
Ready, guys? Teacher, teacher in, uh -huh. in WhatsApp. Uh, uh, ¿cómo the se video dice? there. I, you, you can will, say, yes. can you share the video in the group? You can say yes. it like, <laughs> okay. Please. Es que mi compo no puedo abrir otra cosa, me saca de Ah, yes, I remember you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the video we are watching. Guys, have you finished? Ya estamos. Thank you. Ready to continue? Yes. Okay, so we are going to talk about the, the video. The idea is that you tell me what you understand accountants do. Okay, so Elena, what about you? What do accountants do? ¿Qué hacen los contadores, Elena? Don't uh, make a financial report. They make uh -huh, financial reports. Uh -huh. Activity number two. Um, sales and ingress, no sé, es como se dice, ingress and sales. Ah, it's about Balance. it. Ah, okay. The cash flow, the cash flow, they check, they check the cash flow. Okay. All right, Elena. Thank you. Zaira, what do accountants do? On the video, the video mentioned different activities accountants do. Zaira, can you tell us some activities they do? Um, the microphone, Zaira. Está sonando el video. Um, uh -huh. Review, review, or check the... Uh, eh, cifras, no sé. mm, the money in this case, the money, money. in the Much company, money. Mm -hmm. the amount of yes. money. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, thank you, Wendy. Another comment What do they do? Um, pre pre prepare, prepare. Uh, pre prepare a tax report. Tax reports. Do you know what that is, Wendy? Yes. Tax. Tax. Uh, uh -huh. Ah, in my case. No, if you in know that case? word. Si conoces esa palabra. Do you know that word? Tax or taxes. Tax. Impuestos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. So they prepare yeah. tax reports. Mm -hmm. yes. Prepare month report. The reports oh. too. Balance, balance. Result. Result. Report results. I don't mm -hmm. remember. Okay, that's good. ¿Cómo está el resultado? Results. Okay, thank you. I want you to tell me your occupation, and that you mention what you have to do in your company. Okay, explain what you usually do at your workplace. Okay, van a hacer algo similar, pero con su profession, con su occupation. Así como veían en el video, that they mentioned the activities accountants do. Ahí hablaba de qué es lo que hacían los contadores. Quisiera que ustedes, con su profession or occupation, me digan what you do. Vamos a escuchar algunos y otros lo vamos a hacer en el chat. Blanca, you're going to mention who is going to continue. Blanca, usted va a escoger quién va a ser el primero. Así que solo para que nos avise, Blanca. 
porque nos quedamos en Blanca, ¿verdad? En, en la previous activity. Así que, ¿quién comenzaría, Blanca? Ahí puede ver en, en sí, sí, de participantes. Ahorita está. estoy bien. Ajá. Pero alguien de los que no pasaron con celebrities. A Nelson. Nelson Gabarreta. Nelson. Ok, Nelson. Hello. You're going to be the first one. Are you ready, Nelson? Tell us your occupation yes. and what you usually do at work. Mm -hmm. Occupation uh, for me? Mm -hmm. Oh. What is my occupation? What is your Oh, yes. Is a driver? Mm -hmm. I am a driver. What do you I do? I am a driver. Tell us about your work. Eh, no sé eh, or cómo do podría you need decir? time, Nelson? O necesito un poquito de tiempo para organizar sus ideas. Yes. Ok, ok, no problem. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher me. Omar, my you're ready. Ah, okay. Tell us. Okay. My occupation is a contable. Uh, an accountant. Uh, an accountant. Uh -huh. uh, I, I check the bank account. I check the cost. I register pay debt, debt pay. I check the inventory. I make payment to supply. I prepare the financial financial stage. Bank uh, reconciliation. Mm -hmm. I prepare the cash flow. I prepare the payroll. The salary uh, is AFP. Uh -huh. Different activities. Thank you, Omar. Very good. Yes. And the structure was correct. Maybe just two comments. You can say, I am. I am uh, an accountant. And then this word, Omar, is financial. That is the correct pronunciation of that one. Financial. Besides that, you did very well. Okay. Okay. Omar, choose okay. the next person. Escoja la siguiente persona, Omar, please. Who continues? Okay. Is Nelson. El que Nelson. Again. <laughs> okay, Nelson. <laughs> Van conmigo, Nelson. Okay. Yes. Eh, <laughs> I say I'm a, a driver. Uh -huh. eh, I hear a pet a dominant service. Uh, visit, visit a bank. Uh -huh. You visit banks. Something yes. else? It's a visit a, a clients. You visit. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay, Nelson, sounds good. Thank you. Who continues? How you still at Tokes Go ahead. Can continue. Okay. Who continues? Eh, sería a. Uh, de los que no han pasado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a. Uh, Quiero ver. María Elena. Ok. All right, Elena, continue in that case. 
<risa> Estaba escribiendo, pero... I am a nutritionist in an ONG. I am work in, on development projects. I do nutritional um, evaluation for girls, boys. Mm -hmm. Como dice mujeres embarazadas. Pregnant women. Preg women pregnant. And I have a meeting with my college, the project. Yes, Marie, eh, Elena. Good job. Me gusta la estructura. No se le olvidó el subject. Very well. Solo un comment. Eh, ONG in English is NGO, porque significa non-governmental organization. Entonces la, las letras van a cambiar. Sería en inglés NGO. Oh. I, I send it. Non-governmental organization. Ok, Elena, who is next? Thanks. Uh, let me see. Brian Javier. Brian Kent in this moment, but you still have uh, hey. Ellie. Uh -huh. Yes, I was about to say. Ellie, can you participate? Are you Not there? Uh -huh. I don't, I don't. <laughs> ya me olvidó. No estoy en la casa. You're not at home. Okay, no. all right. Ya voy a okay. llegar. Let's choose, let's choose Ivania in that case. Ivania, can you continue? Thank you, Elena. Okay, teacher. Um, I am a contact. Um, a, uh, I a counting record. I review a counting record. I make the inventory for one month. Mm -hmm. um, I check the checks. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. I make bank reconciliation. I prepare a report for tax one month. Excellent, uh, Maria Ivania. Just one comment. When we when we mention our occupation, we have to use letter A. In English, when we present our profession, I can say I am an or a. In this case, I'm an accountant. Es como mandatory, Ivania, que, que lo agreguemos. Just I'm that comment. Accountant. An accountant. Ajá, porque la otra palabra comienza con una, con una vocal. Si comenzara con consonante, como teacher, entonces yo diría, I'm a teacher. Pero el, el suyo empieza con una vocal. Entonces, con, con, por eso, con, lo vamos a cambiar. Como se llama articles. Ajá, no. se llaman articles, yes. Thank you, Iv Ivania. Who is next? Todavía no han pasado Rodrigo, Lili, Wendy. Lili. Ok, let's continue, Lili. Thank you, Ivania. Okay. I am. Um... General manager, I I case accounting in my work. I report and declaration and presentation. Iba, ¿cómo se dice? Um, taxes. Taxes. Um, taxes. I pay the role of my colleagues and review the inventory every month and in man mana manage the the per catch of the my company okay thank you lily what is your occupation again uh, 
pues dije manager, manager. general porque, ajá, porque soy la encargada de, de todo. Ajá. O sea, okay. como en representación de, 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 de mi jefa. Ah, ok. So, just one comment. No sé si yo no oí bien, pero no escuché la A cuando se presentó. I listen, I'm a, I'm general manager, escuché yo. So, sí, if you tienen, ah, ok. Hay que agregar la A también. Ok, the okay. same. Siempre okay. queremos nuestra job position. Okay. And declare, I declare, that will be the verb. Para declarar. También lo mencionó, I declare eh, taxes. Yes. Ajá, entonces sería declare. Ok, Lily, who is next? Wendy o Rodrigo? Wendy. Wendy, ok, Wendy. Tell us about your occupation. No vino. <laughs> ok, I am travel agent. I sell travel tickets, I make daily reports, I, I make American visa forms, I call clients, I answer WhatsApp, I check my email, I make invoice, I prepare invoice for pay the tax. Excellent. I prepare reports too, to make the taxes. To make Or, the taxes. Uh -huh. oh. O oh, to declare, maybe. To declare taxes porque no es que los haga, sino que los declare. To declare. Oh, to declare, declare taxes. Yes. Ok, oh, so okay. who is next? María Concepción, Rodrigo o Mayra? Mayra. Mayra. Ok, Mayra. Continue, please. I am an accounting assistant. Mm -hmm. Preparing, I prepare tax report, review mm -hmm. daily daily sales, check withholding vouchers, check purchase and inventory, review payment suppliers weekly, I make bank reconciliation, I make the check. Very good, Mayra. Thank you. And you said I am an accountant. I heard that you said it. Correct. So, Mayra, you can choose between Rodrigo and Maria Concepcion. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Ok, Rodrigo, please continue. En Zaira, Blanca, Ana, Alfonso, Luis Alfonso, Juan Carlos, and the others send it by chat. Because okay. then we will continue with another activity. Yes, Rodrigo, we hear you. Ok, okay. I am a account, accounting financial. Uh, my job... The preparation of financial statement, elaboration of cash flow, budget preparation, preparation of payroll, issue supply payment, inventory review and control, financial statement analysis, bank reconciliation. Okay, what is your occupation again, Rodrigo? Accountant, financial. Ah, okay. Thank you. Remember to say financial. That is the, the correct oh, financial. Answer. Financial. And okay. you can say I prepare, I, prepare. I elaborate, uh -huh. because that is the okay. way we, we say those things. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Maria Concepcion, you're the last one. It is in my work. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am uh, office maintenance. Uh -huh. I go to offices every day. I assist in the meetings. I change the check every day. I not, no sé cómo se dice llenar bitácora full, full blue. No. I don't know that word, Maria Concepción, pero mándemela en el chat y voy a investigarla. And I will tell you in the next class. Okay, I prepared, I prepared Christmas gift for the children of of UFS employees. Okay, that's very cool that you prepare gifts for kids. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Maria Concepción. Just send me the word. Mándeme esa palabra que dijo okay. y voy a ver cuál es. Yes. Okay, Tell me, Eli. Voy a, voy a participar así, aunque no, no, es que no, no me funciona y tengo problemas con la computadora. Okay. Okay. So, 
you can participate using that one. Va a estar participando desde acá, Eli. Yes. Ah, ok. Ok, sounds cool. So, guys, when you have your, your message, send it to me. Los que no me lo han enviado, me lo pueden enviar, ok? And I will read your message with your occupation. Ok, los voy ahí a, a leer. And now we continue. Ok, so Juan Carlos, what did we study yesterday? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer, Juan Carlos? What did we study yesterday? Do you remember? Yesterday studied... Uh... Human research. Uh, uh -huh. how, yes, how, what, what is human research? We study about human resources. Uh -huh. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, Ana, what is the common way to call human resources? Como dijimos que usualmente se les llama uh, human resources? Do you remember, Ana? Sorry, teacher. No, don't okay. Remember. Don't worry. No. Really? And you? Do you remember? No. Blanca? Me? Uh -huh. Yes, Ivani? HR. HR. Uh -huh. la, las dos iniciales. Así es como más se le llama. En vez de human resources. Y hasta es más fácil. Solo las dos iniciales. HR. Ok, so yesterday. Thank you, Ivania. Very good memory. So yesterday we studied about HR. Now, okay, Blanca, what is that? Why is HR important? ¿Por qué es que era importante ese departamento? Why is HR important, Blanca? Um, the microphone, I don't hear you. Sí, apareció una cosita ahí, silenciada. Ah, ok. Eh, eh, importante. Ay, se me olvidó. Eh, la organiza, organiza, organiza eso de, de, de New Employees. Oh, no puedo decirlo. I'll give you time eh, if you want to, Blanca. Te doy un momentito para que ordene sus ideas. Sí. And then you please. tell me. Ok. Let's listen to Rodrigo. Rodrigo no, no estaba ayer, ¿verdad? Right. Ni antier, así que perdonado. Ok. Let's see. Luis. Luis Alfonso. What about you? Why is that department? I'm sorry. <laughs> Me confundí. Oops. No, Luis Alfonso. No estaba Luis Alfonso. Ah, oh, yes, Blanca. No puedo, no puedo. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. It is important for the organization, for the company, for the department. And this guides and prepare the staff. Ok, Blanca. Thank you. And Luis. What did you say? ¿Qué dijo? No le, no le escuché bien. Oh, teacher. Uh, yeah, yesterday I, I don't... I don't... I wasn't here. I wasn't here in class yesterday. Ah, ok. Uh, Ajá, sí, ahorita estaba but, pensando but, que... Uh -huh. have, but, but I don't have problem. Question, okay? Ah, okay. So, why is HR important, Alfonso? The human resource, the department is, is important because uh, they are the letter, escoger, choose. Uh -huh. And this department choose the, 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 the personal more, uh, more uh, the right, the right personnel, 
they get the right personnel for uh, anyone activity in the company, okay? Mm -hmm. For the company. For the yes, company. they select. They select the employees yes, yes, and they choose the best, right? The best oh, okay. candidates. The Thank best you, candidates. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for the comment. Now, Elena. Okay, Elena, tell me three words that you learned yesterday. Yesterday, I gave you HR vocabulary, right? You were creating sentences. Elena, do you hear me? Can you tell me three, three words? We study yesterday. Regulation. Affecting human resource. Tres palabras de las que estaban en el document, Elena. Con los que estaban creando oraciones. O, oh, ah, no, creo que usted estaba, no estaba, ¿verdad? Ayer, exactamente. Ok, ok. estaba haciendo. True. True, ya, ya me acordé. Briefing, ajá. What else? Absent, hire, fire, apply. Correct. Yes, so this is the vocabulary, right, that I sent by chat. Absence, ajá, apply, performance appraisal, briefing, candidate, misconduct. I didn't give you this one, ese no se los di acá. Solo se los di en el document, misconduct, overtime, incentives, payroll, promotion, and resign. Those are some words we can use. So we will continue talking about HR. Okay, we will continue talking about HR, but this is what we will be doing. You have to fill in the form for the RC company, okay? This is a company and you have to, okay, in this case, you have to create two, two forms. Tienen que elaborar o, o llenar estas dos uh, formas que tenemos and you have to put the information that we need. Tienen que poner la información que se les pide. Job title, work location, department, no de, de la ciudad donde viven, ¿verdad? Sino de la, del departamento de trabajo. Ok, reports to full time or part time. Essential duties. If you remember yesterday, ¿verdad? Aquí veían más o menos cómo lo, lo hacíamos. So responsibilities, y ahí ponen que responsibilities más o menos eh, tiene esa persona. And then education and work experience, requirements. Aquí esta es sobre lo que se le pide a él para, para estar ahí. No la educación de él, sino lo que se le va a pedir a él para que pueda estar, para que pueda estar en, ese, en esa posición, job position. Employee, employee name and employee signature. There are two of them. We're going to work in groups. Las vamos a trabajar en grupos. There are two, okay, son dos. Do you understand what we will be doing? Or do you have questions? Do you have questions about the activities? No, preguntas, questions? No, no questions. Okay, I'm going to create the groups. Let's see, Juan Carlos. You're going to work with Maria Concepcion and Ana Beatriz. And then, Lily, you're going to work with Zaira and Omar. Next, we will have Ellie. Christian, are you there? Is that you, Christian? Can you participate? Good evening, Miss. Hi, I'm sorry, I, I can't participate can. okay. today. Okay. okay. So, Ellie, you're going to work with Blanca. And Alfonso, okay. in the next group, we're going to have, I'm going to add, um, okay, Ivania, Elena, Mayra. That is group number four. Ivania, Elena, and Mayra. And then we will have Nelson, Rodrigo, and Wendy. 
in our next group. Jenny, are you there? Just like a Jenny. Or not yet. Okay. Yes, Jenny, teacher. I'm here. Ah, okay. Hi, Jenny. La voy a agregar a un grupo, entonces. So, you. you're going to work with Blanca, Eli, Alfonso. Okay, that will be your, your team. And now you can open the room. I'll visit you, okay? I'll visit you in case you need help. En otro dispositivo. En mis archivos creo que está. Hi. Ajá. Hello. How are you doing? Hola. Los, Hola. Quizás los voy a separar y los voy a enviar a otro room. Por, ah, sí. ok. Ya viene Rodrigo. Ok. Never mind. Ajá, Pensé sí. que no está. Sí, es que no se veía. No, se veía. acaba de venir acá. Rodrigo. Ok. Are you there? Rodrigo? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Oh. okay. So you're there. Do you need help? Uh, no, not in this moment. No sé si puede alguien compartir uh, pantalla para que puedan ahí ir llenando su form. O como habían pensado hacerlo. Pero en el escrito porque ah, no podemos no. compartirlo. No, Yo creo que lo vamos a hacer en cada uno en cuaderno. Sí. Y después lo ah, vamos a compartir, Ticho. ¿O cómo? Sí, la idea es por, por lo menos escuchar una, una de, la, de las dos formas que van a crear. Ah, pero no, no necesariamente escribir. O sea, compartirlo o así. Es. No, 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 solo en no, este caso también no, solo pues escuchar. lo leen, ¿verdad? Como que diga job title y ustedes me dicen cuál fue el que le pusieron. Work location y ahí ah, van okay. leyendo y, y diciéndomelo. Ajá. Ah, 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 okay. in, in four minutes van a ver que los voy a, ir a agarrar o los voy a llevar al main room porque tengo que tomar la asistencia. Pero no es porque ya vayamos a ah, terminar. Ah, ok. Ok. I'll see you in a moment. Ah, ok. okay. Hi. Hola, teacher. Just in time, teacher. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, yo miro cómo es el título de que uno ha obtenido como, por ejemplo, bachiller o, o lo que uno... El job no title. Yes. Job title is your job position, manager, accountant. Job title sería ese. La posición. O sea, donde uno quiere aplicar. Let me talk. Ah, check. Give me one second. Uh, ajá. Correct. Sí, porque esto es como que va a ser un perfil para un candidato, por decirlo así. Entonces, que, se, que fuera un manager, right? Que esa va a ser su, su position. Entonces, aquí podríamos poner manager. Y también puede ser que, que es como cuando uno ingresa a la de empleo. Ajá. 
como que fuera yo a aplicar y necesito ver los requisitos. Uh -huh. In, in three minutes, I'm going to get you to the main room just to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance and then I'm going to bring you back. En unos minutos les voy a dar la notificación de volver, pero para tomar la asistencia. It's not because we are done. Okay, do you need more help? En resumidas palabras, teacher, esta es una forma que vamos a llenar para solicitar un nuevo trabajo o es la forma para que solicite a alguien un trabajo. O sea, para... que yo haga el perfil del puesto. Ajá, sería como de lo que, digamos que, que es inglés corporativo y usted quiere trabajar acá. Entonces, inglés corporativo le va a decir los requisitos. Esa form Entonces, sería, sería, ajá, que viene de inglés corporativo y luego ya usted la lee y ve si, si aplica o no. Si aplica, aplica o no. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. Eh, work Va. location eh, ajá. sería... Y fuera de San Salvador, por decirle algo, en San Salvador o en algún lugar. Ajá, you put it, San Salvador, Santa Tecla, you choose, you choose the place. No es un lugar específico dentro de la empresa. No. No, it's not. Ok. Ok, I'm going to take you back in this moment and then I'm going to, I'm going to bring you back here. Vamos a volver al main okay. room. Hi, I'm sorry. I I brought you back to take the attendance. I'm just going to take the attendance and then I'm going to send you back to your room. Hold on, please. Um, okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Present. Thank you. Blanca Alvarenga. Brian Javier, Carlos Antonio, Francisca Elizabeth, Frida Present Yanine. teacher. Thank you, Ali. Eh, Jose Galileo, and then Jose Rodrigo. Present. Laura Carolina, Luis Alfonso, María Concepción. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. María Elena. I'm here. Okay. Nelson. Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here. I'm here, Miss. María, María Ivania. Ah, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Oscar Carnulfo. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jenny Suleiman. Present teacher. Okay. Cristian Ernesto. Present Miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. Okay, thank you. And then Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just one comment, uh, just to be clear. Solo quiero este, dejar claro esto. In this case, this is the profile form. Este es como para, para un candidato, para que un candidato sepa lo que la compañía espera de él, por decirlo así. Como que ustedes quieran aplicar a, a Claro, ¿verdad? Y Claro les va a dar la información para ver si ustedes están aptos o pueden calificar para el puesto. Así que no es, digamos, la información del employee, sino que es los datos para que un candidato sea apto para el puesto. Ok, so that is what I wanted to just uh, make sure that we are on the same page. Ok, and, sure. uh -huh. and yes, the department. En department, ¿verdad? Que es el departamento dentro del trabajo, no es Ajá. donde está ubicado el, el local. Ajá, como que si pusiéramos un manager, 
okay. or supervisor. Y va a estar en el management department. Le daría okay. ya para ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. So I'm going to send you the invitation again. Please open the rooms. Entonces, mejor llenemos lo individual. Hi, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to listen to you. You can continue, ¿ok? Pueden hacerte caso que no estoy acá. I just want to listen to you. Y cualquier cosa, pues yo les, les doy feedback, ¿verdad? But you can continue. And if you need help, let me know. Si en caso tienen alguna duda, me avisan, okay? And I will try to help you. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Eh, Zaira, por cierto, ¿se puede quedar usted para la sesión ahora? Para la sesión. Sí, teacher. One. Ah, ok. Entonces nos vamos a quedar ahora, Zaira. Okay, se le va okay. a olvidar. <coughs> no, no se me olvida, teacher. No se me olvida. Miss, eh, yes. yo terminé las, no, las tareas pendientes. No sé si ah, la revisó. Ah, ok, thank you. Revisé en la mañana, a las 8. No. No, ahora no he revisado, lo hice ayer. Hoy lo hizo, Omar. Yes. Ah, ok. All right. Thank Ahí you. lo voy a actualizar entonces. Thank, Thank you. you. Eh, teacher, ¿Cómo, yes. ¿cómo se le llama al área donde están los, los, los encargados de sistema? IT, IT department. Sí. I will send it in the chat. IT, okay. Information and Technology Department. Miss, uh -huh. your location is internal uh, the company or, or vacation the, uh -huh. the location is like the city San Salvador, okay. Santa Ana etc
I'm going to go. I'm going to go in this moment, but I'm, I'm in case you need me, you can ask for help, okay? But in this moment, I'm going to go to visit <coughs> another room. Great. Le pusimos la locación en la primera. No. Ese no, no le. No tiene. No, no puede ser. San Salvador. San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Ese también pertenece a HR, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí, creo que sí. Sí, creo que sí. Sí. Dame un momento en consulta. Y reports to podría ser HR manager o supervisor. Yo creo que es El reporte, ¿qué vamos a poner? Yo le puse HR Manager también. Es... Hi, how can I help you? Yes, tell me. El employee name se refiere al nombre de la persona empleada. El empleador o la. Let me see. Say employee name. Employee, leave it like that. Déjenlo en blanco. The last two. We're not going to use them. No. No. No, it's okay. Don't use them. The next. Y arriba va a ser el primero. Yo pito es el nombre del, del, del cargo al que le estamos describiendo, ¿verdad? Job title, ajá, para el que yo aplicaría, por ejemplo. Ajá. Yes. En aquí en Education and Work Experience, ahí también pueden poner lo que veíamos al principio de, de le, del módulo, que veíamos como bachelors of administration, eh, business, pueden utilizar los, los títulos, ¿verdad? Que se dan en universidad. La que no encontramos, teacher, fue la de, queríamos ponerle ingeniero. Uh -huh. Ah, en, en el que se necesitaba. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ya se los doy. Let me just get it here. I think it's Bachelors of Engineering, si no me equivoco, but let me, let me check right now. Good night. Good night. Hi. Bachelor Engineer.
I have Bachelor of Engineering. I'm going to send it in the chat. Sí, teacher, como dijo que se decía job title. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Job title. How are you doing? Yes. Are you almost done? Ustedes ya casi terminaron. Uno. <laughs> Ah, uh, just one. Okay. Do you need any more help before I go? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to visit another room. Okay, if you need me, just call me and I'll come. See you later. Ah, projection. Hacer projection de venta. Proyección de venta. Sal projection. Proyección. Ajá. Proyección. A ver cómo. Proyección masiva. How are you doing? How many do you have? Uh, Ustedes ya van en el segundo. ¿Cuál es el segundo? En, no, la, es que son dos cuadros. Son dos la cuadros. primera y el segundo. Ah, pues Los van haciendo a la... Juntos, entonces. No, uno solo. O sea, primero uno, right? Ok, ah, yes. porque estaba pensando uh -huh. que quizás por el tiempo mejor solo hagan uno. Okay. Because we have more activities. So only one. Ok. Do you sí, need help uno, from me? Terminamos. Entonces, de, de experiencia eh, podemos ah, un año. Una, una pregunta. Yes. De, de, donde dice employee name. Eh, nos tenemos que inventar el oh, nombre. De no, que... leave it no, in no. blank. Vamos ah, a dejar blank. los últimos dos en blank, vacíos. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. okay. Eso quería saber yo. Ok, entonces en eh, lo de experiencia laboral, experiencia one year. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Ah, es del proyecto de venta, dijimos. Proyection sales, sí. Pro, eh, sales proyection. Sales proyection. Sales proyection. Sales proyection. Sí. Sales proyection. No sé qué más. ¿Qué más hacer de venta? Dejemos esos tres. Tenemos sí, tres ahorita. Sí, no, no vamos a terminar. Reporte. Ah, eso sí. Pasemos al segundo entonces. Eh, falta el otro. No, solo uno vamos a hacer, dijo la misma. No, el otro Ajá. de. Ah, ah okay. Solo una forma. Ajá, uh -huh, just one okay, form. Vaya. Eh, ah, okay. y, y, y the other is education, education and what is parents and requirements. Eh, travel uh, and uh, Travel and me. And bachelor's, I mean. Bachelor's. Education and bachelor's. No, bachelor's. Ahí está el link que les había enviado anteriormente. Where you can see different, different diplomas or degrees. Oh. Ahí está lo, lo de los títulos universitarios. Eh, Ahora, sí, sí. si se recuerdan, si es solo bachiller, solo se pone high school diploma. That is the only thing that we use. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. bachelor's es uh, licenciatura. ¿no? Yes. I'm going to see you there in three minutes. 
Do you have any questions before I go? Okay. No. No. Okay. See you later. Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to check your forms. Uh, let's begin with Ana Beatriz, Juan Carlos, and Maria Concepcion. Only one form, right? Only one form will be good enough. Wow, you have a logo. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, si lo tenemos que poner, teacher. Is I like operation it. director. Uh -huh. <laughs> Red with grain. Ah, uh, I read it, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. you can choose. Primary purse function of the job. Operation director is responsible for all operation with Nakasa facilities living leading the operational direction of planning, sourcing, manufacturing, and direct and the distribution to assure company delivers loads, uh, possible costs, developing our uh, culture, 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 of continuous improving Trunks, the process in province and in in uh, is uh como se pronuncia esta enhancing enhancing employees skill and quality also responsible for maintenance maintaining 
the psychical side equipment, material, employed, employed welfare. Uh, Juan Carlos, Juan Maria Concepcion, are we? <laughs> okay. Education and work experiences requirements. BS in manufacturing, industrial operation, or chemical engineering. MBA preferred minimum mm -hmm. 10 years of relevant experience in a food manufacturing facility. Minimum five years of experience in supply chain management or relate. Minimum five years leading in a TPM or lean manufacturing environment. Food safety, H ACC, P and GMP, SAP knowledge, cost and pricing, inventory management, financing and economic knowledge to understand impact on results, procurement, high level organization, fluid in English, at least one year in current role, current role. That's okay, it. Okay, ya terminó Juan Carlos, no siento nada. You are higher. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very well done. Uh -huh. I like that you use the logo and and you have time to do different little details. It looks nice. And the information looks good. Uh -huh. So thank you, Juan Carlos, Ana, and Maria Concepcion. And now we will continue with Lily, Omar, and Zaira. Eh, teacher, nosotros solo lo contestamos en el It's libro. Okay. No sé si <laughs> no lo presentas. Yes, yo leo el, el, la descripción y ustedes no sé quién va a leer the info. Who has everything? ¿Quién tiene todo? Pues los tres lo tenemos. <laughs> ah, ok. Pero okay. diferente porque cada uno lo hizo. Yes. Ah, ok. So, no tienen lo mismo. Es diferente. No. No es diferente. Que cada uno lo llenamos. Ah, ok. Ok. Bueno, entonces vamos a leer uno por el grupo y si quieren me mandan los otros dos luego. Zaira. Let's listen to yours. Job title. Manager. Okay. Work location. San Salvador. Department. Area administrative. Uh -huh. Reports to. General manager. Full time or part time? Full time, eight hours. Eight hours, okay. Essential duties and responsibilities. Check inventory, daily supervision of employees, new sales strategies, and new advertising strategies. Okay, thank you. Education and work experience requirements. Bachelor of Business Administration. Mm -hmm. Experience 10 years in PC service, 10 years in hotel and Dorian. Wow, a lot of experience for that occupation or position. <laughs> 10 years. Is, uh -huh. is, that, is that false? Ah, okay. And the salary, <laughs> it's very high. How, how much are you going mm, to pay? No, only. A big salary, five thousand dollars. thousand dollars. Aha, con tanta experience, que piden a big salary, right? Okay, Zaira, good job. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank Lily you. and uh, Omar, send it to me, and I will take a look to it. Let's continue with Blanca, Eli, Alfonso, and Jenny. Can you share your form, please? Hey teacher, eh, nosotros hicimos de los ejemplos que estaba arriba. Uh, what do you mean? Ah, uh, similar, similar a ese. Sí. Ah, ok. Yes. I would read For the... example... Ajá, eh, uh -huh. uh -huh. tell me. Eh, 
job title is Talent Management Consulting, ah, World okay. Location, San Salvador, Department HR, uh, Reports to HR Manager, uh, Time is Full Time, Essence essential duties and responsibilities uh, responsible responsible for leadership development career development aces performance learning in development education in work experience a bachelor's degree mm -hmm. Only that thank teacher. you okay very good idea very good idea to do it like that Let's continue, Elena, Ivania, and Mayra. Oh, Jenny, just the first one is job title. That is the pronunciation of that one. Come? Title. Title. Uh -huh. Title. Title. Yes. Who only, has it? Uh -huh. Only one teacher. Only uh, one what, Elena? Sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, only one form because we didn't have oh. more time for the other one. Um, job title. Um, human resource gen generalist. Mm -hmm. Uh, location San Salvador Department H year. HR um, reports to general manager HR uh, part time for hours. Mm -hmm. uh, same duties is my tense knowledge, knowledge of knowledge. legal knowledge of legal, legal, legal requirements. And government reporting regulation affecting human resource response to inquires regards policies, uh, producers and programs. Okay. Quiero ver que se me queda. Work experience. Work experience. In education. Uh, Three years. Three In, years of experience. Mm. Three years of experience in education. No copy education. <laughs> okay. BBA. A BBA, okay. Thank B you, Vanya. M. G. B A M. No. V A M. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Elena. Good job. Just remember title. That is the correct way. Hi. Title, legal. Title, legal. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with Rodrigo, Nelson, and Wendy. Hello. 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 Uh, uh, Joy class uh, service manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, pardon, go lo lo local location. Location is uh, San Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, department uh, Charles. Uh -huh. Department Charles. Uh, report to. Uh, Manager, eh, general manager, eh, full time, eh, sería full time. Uh -huh. eh, essential duties and responsibilities, eh, supervision, sales, report, sales, y sales projection. Uh -huh. eh, education and a good experience, requirements, is a uh, experience if I, if I year. On general education, mm -hmm. uh, vice need administration. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Thank you very much. 
I'm going to help you with three words. So the way of ayudar con la pronunciation. That okay. one is requirements. Requirement. Requirements. Requirement. Uh -huh. Sales. Sell. Uh -huh. Sales. Sales. And the last one, department. Mm. Department, department, not department, 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 no. Department. Uh -huh. ah, department. department. Yes. Department. Okay. okay. But thank you. You all did a, a very good job. And now we will continue with the next activity. Do you have You're questions? Welcome. Do you have questions before we go on? Questions for me? No. No questions. Okay. So now you're going to try to discover the different human resources positions. We have recruiting coordinator, a benefit specialist, HR generalist, administrative assistant, compensation specialist, and talent management consultant. We have different, different positions in the HR department, okay? And now we have to try to, to match the positions in part two with the definitions that we have here. Okay, we will match them. Okay, vamos a tratar de ver cuál es la definición para cada posición. That is what we have to do. I'm just going to zoom in. in. Okay, so now it looks bigger. Okay, so we will start with, vamos a empezar quizás con las más fáciles, and then we go with the difficult ones. Okay, so let's start with, uh, okay, the benefit, the benefit specialist. Omar, can you help us? Which one do you think it's the benefit specialist? ¿Cuál cree que será la definición para benefit specialist? Moment, please. Mm -hmm. If you want to, guys, I'll give you three minutes. Les voy a dar primero three minutes para que más o menos las lean, and then we check together. Y ya luego lo hacemos juntos. And if you need help with new vocabulary, let me know. If you need help with new vocabulary, I can help you. Finish teacher. Okay, excellent, Maria Concepcion. Let's wait two minutes. Vamos a esperar two more minutes, Maria Concepcion. And then we check together. You look tired, Maria Concepcion. La veo ya algo cansada. Are you tired? Yes, teacher. Very, very. Was it a long day? Tuvo un día largo. Yes. Ah, okay. But it's Friday. It's Friday. Do you work tomorrow? O tiene que trabajar yes. mañana? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. I am get up uh, 4.45. Ah, that is why you are tired. You wake up very early, Maria Concepcion. <laughs> Creo que no duerme las siete horas, ¿verdad? No. Uh, Mm -hmm. a, a veces, a veces that no. is difficult. Uh -huh. That is difficult. Se siente bien feo the next day. I'm sorry yes, to hear you. that. Okay. We start in one minute. Okay, we start in one minute, guys.
Okay, Omar, what do you think about the, the position benefit specialist? It's number four, is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Okay, Omar, thank you. Let's check, let's double check. Let me, let me see. Ivania and you, benefit specialist. What is your opinion, Ivania? Develop appropriate strategy for climate. Okay, number two for you. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. Let's see. Maria Concepcion, what do you think? Benefit specialist. The microphone, Maria Concepcion. It is number four. Number four. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, guys. That's the one. Thank you. So, benefit specialist. It will be number four, is responsible for assisting the administration of all benefits. Okay, so that's number four. Let's continue with administrative <clears throat> assistant. Administrative assistant. Let's begin with Saira. Administrative assistant. Is number five. And you read it, please. Handles. Mm. Ah, permítame. Is. That's. Um, can you read it? Las puede leer. Las tiene ahí. Yes. Is number five. Uh, mm -hmm. administ administrative assistant handles administrative requests and required from senior manager. Okay. Thank you, Zaira. And let's check with Wendy. Do you agree, Wendy? Or... Is it different for you? No, for me it's correct. It is, uh-huh. So this will be the administrative assistant, number five. Okay, thank you, Wendy and, and Zaira. Let's continue, Jenny. Let's go with uh, recruiting, recruiting coordinator. Recruiting is six. Number six. Can you design read the, and, the info? Mm -hmm. Design and implement overall recruiting strategy. Okay, thank you. And now let's double check. What do you think about that one, Mayra? The same it's as Jenny? Uh-huh. Well, yes, that's the one. Recruiting coordinator. That is number six. Thank you, Jenny and Mayra. Juan Carlos. Recruiting, I'm sorry, HR generalist. HR generalist. Yeah, um, ta -ta -ta -ta. Mm -hmm. is number... Six design implement overall. We already have that one, Juan okay. Carlos. <laughs> yes, that number six. It's recruiting coordinator number six. Um, which one, teacher? Vamos one, two, ahorita three. con con HR generalist. Okay. 
a1 i choose one over c both the talent review and performance management process okay all right thank you and you anna do you have the same opinion hr generalist um uh, set the number one number one two. the talent review the per performance manager process uh -huh. okay thank you it's it's not that one juan carlos and anna it's different it's another one yes jenny do you have a comment is number three number three no, it is a number two. It's number two. Yes, this is number two. Uh huh. If you, this is the concept for an HR generalist develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary actions, and operations. That is what they do. Okay, but thank you. Now, Lily, let's go with. Uh, compensation specialist. Compensation specialists, Lily. Lily? Let's see. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, you only have two possibilities. Number three. And yes, competition specialists work in a company, human resource or personal department. Human resource. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, Lily. And Ellie, what about you? Do you have the same opinion? Yes, for me, number three. It is, uh -huh. this is number three the compensation specialist. And the last one we have is the talent talent management consultant. That will be number one. That will be talent management consultant. Do you have questions for me? Do you have any doubts before I go on? We only have one, one more activity before we, we finish. Comments? No, no questions. Okay, the last thing that we have is this. It says write sentences about people in your company and their positions using the words in part two. In other words, you have to create mm, three, okay, three sentences using the human resources positions that you see there. Vamos a crear por lo menos unas tres, creo. Unas tres oraciones en las que lleve alguna de estas posiciones. The sentence. Tiene que ir esta persona o este assistant inside the sentence. Three sentences in present tense. Do you have questions? No? Okay. You will be back at 9.54, vamos a estar de regre, 
En la oficina ya lo hacen. Ajá. Ella, ella hace eso. Sí. Parte de ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Miren qué? The administrative assistant. Coordinator de manager meeting. Ministra Chive, mm. asistente. Ya existe. Eh, administración, ya existe. Miren qué. Manager meeting. Man manager meeting. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Ahí se lo escribe en el chat para, para nosotros. Administrator. Ah, ah, ok. Así no te voy a chat. Tipe. vamos a ver dónde está. Aquí está. Bien, bien, bien. De hecho, asisten coordinate. Ah. Aquí está. Dice, dice la chica que está correcto. It's okay, teacher. No. The... Yes, yes, very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Mr. TV Assistant Coordinator Management Meetings. Meetings. Quiero ver. Recreating coordinator. Um, interview. 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 Interviews. The new person. Mm. No. Candidato a nuevo personal, algo así. Pero es candidate. Candidate. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Candidate. 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 Entonces sería recruit. 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 A candidate, a candidate, candidate from new person, no, for new personal, no, person, or oh, for new employ employees, 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 for new employee, for new employees. Uh, Pónganle interview new employees. Ah, new employees. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Interview, interview new that is employees. Ajá, uh -huh. new employees. New employees. New employees. Interviews employees. new employees. Ok. Uh -huh. Interviews new employees. Una, nos falta una. Es el <laughs> Benefit Specialist, mm -hmm. no. 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 ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál, cuál? Rápido. <risa> Sale mal en el coche. <risa> Hi, welcome back. Could you finish the three sentences? Yes. No. Let's yes. check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos, can you read the sentences of your group? Uh, my or our first sentences is Joanna is the recruiting coordinator in my company. <laughs> Number two, Juan Carlos is the arch HR generalist. Okay. And Maria is the compensation specialist. Okay, <laughs> that could work. Three sentences using the positions. Thank you. Lily, 
um, Omar and Zaira. Lily, do you have the sentences? Eh, Otra vez hicimos lo mismo y nos gustamos a compartirla, pero no ah, puedo okay. leer la que tengo yo. Ok, yes, read the ones you have. Ok. Ace are generalistic. Is in charge of selecting, recruiting, and training new employees for the company. Only one. Ah, cada quien tiene una. Ok, Zaira. Sí, que, que, Got it. que okay. benefit especially uh, develop strat strategies for a good work environment and a good service with client. Very good, Zaira. Yes. And Omar? Ok. The administrative assistant schedule the activities of the general manager. Yes, Omar. Thank you. Very good job, guys. Now, Elena, Ivania, and Mayra. One sentence. One, okay. The, the recruiting coordination is responsible for the control capture of employees. Mm -hmm. Who is next? Elena? Second, uh -huh. second uh, money Sentence. benefit sentences, benefit specialists, uh, monitor the compensation and benefit package. Uh, packages. That, no. Packages. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. That an organization offers to its employees. Thank you. And Mayra. The HR generalists use appropriate strategies for the client. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uses. Uses, Mayra. With yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, Rodrigo, Nelson, and Wendy. I read number one. Uh -huh. Number one was correct. Do you have number two and three? Okay. Interviews, new employees. Mm -hmm. And number three, lograron crear la última. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. <laughs> But, uh, That's fine. Uh, me, teacher. Uh -huh. yes. Re require coordinator, requests candidates. To employees? Recruit candidates. Recruit candidates. Or, or recruit, uh -huh. job candidates. Job candidates, candidates. will be better. Job yes, candidates. Please. Thank you. Okay. Now, Blanca, Ellie, Luis, and Jenny. Who is going yes, to? Yes, teacher. I, uh -huh. I have uh, two. I have two sentences. Two. Okay. Read the sentences, yes. Ellie. Okay. Mm, the benefit specialist organ, organizer the mother the day the past week. Um, H, HR generalist is in charge is in charge keeping all all the documentation of the employees. On the company. Documentation. Uh -huh. Solo él y la primera estaba en past tense. Organized. Pongámosle entonces. Organized. Last week. Besides that, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Ellie. And the other two sentences. Blanca. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don, don Luis. Ok, mi teacher. Okay, Luis. Okay, Luis. Luis. Uh, one sentence en blan Blanca. Ok. So go ahead, Luis. The department recruiting coordinator, Richard Luke, the best candidate to occupy the job in the company. Mm, okay. To occupy, yes. But yes, Luis, it's correct. And Blanca. The administrative 
assistant is with is in charge of the review the finance of the company the finances of the company okay, the okay <laughs> thank you but i want to congratulate you guys because the sentences were very well i know you're tired it's friday it's understandable but you have you have improved a lot Los quiero felicitar porque han mejorado bastante bastante la estructura de simple present veo un gran cambio hemos practicado mucho and it's it's working so congratulations. Yo sé que los viernes ya son los más pesados porque ya pasó una semana, estamos cansados. But excellent job. I just wanted to congratulate you. And I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, voy a tomar the attendance y me quedo con Zaira. Okay, so Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. En Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Present teacher, Ana Lilian. Okay. Brian Javier, Carlos Antonio, Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Galileo and Jose Rodrigo. Present ma'am. Okay. Present teacher. Laura Carolina, Luis Alfonso, María Concepción. Present teacher. Okay. María Elena, María Ivania. Present teacher. Nelson Gavarrete and Omar Francisco. Present. Eh, Oscar Arnulfo and Zaira Marlene. Oscar, Zaira. Present teacher. Okay. Present. Wendy, Wendy and Jenny. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Christian Lazo. Present miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos and Mayra. I'm here. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So have a nice weekend. Enjoy your Saturday and Sunday. See you on Monday to all of you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you Monday. Bye, Elena. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Okay. Teacher. One moment, Saira. Tenemos toda la noche, teacher. No Thank you. Okay, Zaira, how are you today? ¿Qué tal siguió? ¿Ya está mejor? Ya, ya he mejorado bastante, bastante. Es okay. como que cuesta que, que salga y quedan como secuelas. Uh -huh. y, y se van repitiendo por ratos, por ratos, porque no siempre. Ah, okay. Pero, ya, Pero ya, ya mucho mejor que al principio. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí. Ah, okay. Y que no me pegó tan fuerte. Ajá, sí. Sí, es que es bien raro, ¿verdad? No sabe uno cómo le puede resultar. Puede ser mm, diferente en pues cada sí. quien. Pero lo bueno, mire, es que sí. no, no fue, solo fue el susto, como dicen, ¿verdad? Porque a veces uno el se El sustito, medio ajá, ajá. Pero ya está ahí. El sustito mío y también de los compañeros de trabajo. Sí, porque cuando uno les da la noticia es como, uy, yo estuve con ella y ahora. No, Ajá. Pues sí. It happens. Pero pues, ni modo, ¿verdad? Tenemos que estar Oca. aquí con, con este virus que no se quiere ir. Pero no qué bueno, ir. Zaira, que está bien. So tell me, how sí, can teacher. I help you? Eh, teacher, yo eh, en la clase de... No, a la hora de las estructuras de las oraciones, quizás con el, al formar, por ejemplo, en pasado, que hay que, usar, eh, eh, hay que usar el was, este, en vez de how, el had. Ah, no, pues todas esas cositas todavía me confunden. Ah, ok. If you want to, we can practice past tense. Entonces, el present tense lo hemos mejorado bastante. Siento yo, he, he visto mejores uh -huh. en la estructura. Pero sí, podemos practicar ahora, pues, past tense. Y como les mencionaba, esta semana o estos días en esta unidad no hemos visto tanta gramática. Entonces, da oportunidad de practicar el conocimiento que se ha adquirido anteriormente. Así que eso, pues... 
también beneficia, porque no hay más. El ¿verdad? conocimiento también de, de nuevas palabras que ah, sí, se van ¿verdad? agregando al... Uh -huh. Ajá, porque como es inglés para el trabajo, hay mucho, muchas palabras así como, como ahora, ¿verdad? Esta unidad de, de human resources. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así que sí. Ok, let's practice simple paths. There are different paths, options. Ajá. There are like three or four past tenses. Hay varios. Vamos a empezar con uno que es básico y que sirve mucho. Simple Ajá. past. Ok, do you remember the formula, Zaira? The simple past formula. ¿Se recuerda eh, la fórmula? No. Es este... No, 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 no. Ok, me confunde Subject. toda la fórmula. <ríe> Ay, sí, son un montón, como que fuera matemática, ¿verdad? Algo así. Uh -huh. Ok, we need subject, verb, in past tense, and we need a complement. Ok, esto, Zaira, es como que fuera prácticamente la versión pasada de present tense, de simple present, porque The es la misma present. structure, pero que cambia, que ahora el verb lo tiene que colocar en su past tense. En este tiempo ya es de saber pasados de los verbos. Ajá, y eso ajá. solo lo logra Zaira estudiando verbos. Tiene ajá. que aprenderse verbos. Así que sería una buena idea, un, una buena meta, practicar y memorizarse más verbos, ¿verdad? No solo verbos, en presente, ajá. pero cuál es el past tense, ¿verdad? Para usarlos en past tense. Utilizamos simple past, Zaira, When you are talking about finished activities or activities uh -huh. that are completely over. Se utiliza simple past cuando usted está hablando de cosas que ya están totalmente enterradas en el pasado. No están nada conectadas o relacionadas con presente. Okay, si hablo de algo que hice ayer, eso ya es ayer, ¿verdad? Ya no tiene nada que ver con ahora. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I... Y vamos a usar el past tense, ¿verdad? I ate pupusas yesterday. Okay? Es una past activity. Entonces utilizo este structure. I ate pupusas yesterday. Can you try, Zaira? ¿Puede usted decirme una en past tense? I... I... Cook. I cook mm -hmm. chicken yesterday. Okay, thank you. Chicken yesterday. Okay, thank you. Y aquí no importa el subject que utilicemos, siempre el verbo en past tense. En eso, pues, no nos complica la vida de cambiarlo. Depende del subject, con todos es lo mismo. Vaya, uh, esa es mi parte. Acá para mí era solo cook. Y entonces usted ahí le ha agregado el ed. Porque es el past tense del verbo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, por eso le mencionaba de que aquí hay que aprenderse el verbo en past tense porque la regla dice verb in the past form. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Si fuera en presente, si fuera simple present, entonces ahí no, ¿verdad? Pero como estamos en past tense, he utilizado el past tense del verbo. Ah, ok. Y el past tense varía. No hay fórmula para saber cómo va. Alguno solo va una E y una D. Pero en uh -huh. otros cambia, así como it, mira el past tense, it. No es solo id, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que memorizarlos. Esta es la fórmula cuando usted tiene una oración afirmativa. El auxiliar que se utiliza en past tense es did. Y esa es el, la palabra que va a usar en negative sentences and questions. Vaya, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir algo que no hice ayer, entonces ahí entra el didn't o el did not. I did not, o puede usar la contraction, that is very common, 
Didn't. Didn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eat pupusas. Cuando va negative, vamos a usar el verbo in present tense. ¿Ok? Cuando está negative, usamos el verbo en present tense. No lo vamos a poner en past tense. In Entonces yo sentence. diría... Uh -huh. I didn't... I didn't cook. Uh -huh. Chicken. No, yo no cociné ayer. Chicken. Yo no cociné pollo ayer. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Entonces la palabra mágica para decir no en past tense es didn't. Eso lo tiene didn't. que decir. Es como su no, pero uh -huh. en past tense, didn't. Entonces esa es su forma negativa. Okay. En afirmativo ponemos el verbo en past tense. En negativo va en su forma base. Anula, anula, anula la regla de past tense. Y también mm. para preguntas. Cuando usted quiere hacer una pregunta, si es en past tense, Zaira, vamos a cambiar. Bueno, prácticamente, si es una yes, no question, solo hay que colocar al principio la palabra did. Y cuando la persona oiga que usted dice did al principio, ya va a entender que es una pregunta. Por ejemplo, si quiero preguntar esto, entonces le pongo el did, al principio, le pongo un question mark en la parte de acá. And I change the verb. Se cambia el verbo. A su present tense. Por, por ejemplo, did you eat pupusas yesterday? And that's the question. ¿Verdad? Poniendo el did al principio y cambiando el verbo. Aquí otra vez cambiamos el verbo a su forma base. Por ejemplo, aquí sería, did, ¿verdad? Se coloca primero, Zaira, cook, yesterday. Did Zaira cook chicken? Yesterday. yesterday. Entonces, lo único que he hecho para hacerlo o transformarlo en pregunta es colocar al principio la palabra did. Did no es que signifique algo en sí, sino que solo es como un identificador de tiempo. Un identificador, uh -huh. porque si yo lo cambiara y pongo das, que también es un identificador de tiempo, transformo la pregunta. Y ahora ya no está en pasado. Ahora la pregunta está en presente. A excepción de la palabra yesterday, ¿verdad? Pero si yo solo pongo, does Zaira cook? Si yo solo dijera esto, si digo das, la gente va a entender, ah, es present tense. Pero si yo das, digo... Das, uh -huh. das me dice, es el identificativo para una pregunta en presente y did es un identificativo para pregunta en pasado. Ajá. Así es. Entonces, no, más o menos así tips. funciona. Sí, ajá, agárrelo así. Ok, did me identifica past tense. Y si lo cambio por das, va a cambiarme el tiempo a present tense. Porque el verbo va siempre en su forma base en ambos tiempos. El do es en el... En el... En present tense también. En present tense. Pero Ajá, sí, sí. ahí depende del sujeto, ¿verdad? Porque do y das, estos se intercambian, esto varían, depende de quién sea el sujeto. ¿Qué es lo que les he mencionado en clases anteriores? Ajá, les decía, Ajá. hay dos versions de simple present. Do, si yo quiero hablar de, de I, you, we, uh -huh. they, ¿verdad? Pero si fuera una tercera persona, tengo que usar das. Con el, con el be, con el verbo be. No, el verb be no lo uso. No lo uso acá nada. No se usa el verb be. Solo el das y el verbo. Entonces, algo así sería, Zaira. Una explanation así. Basic. Me quedo aquí con estos ejemplos para repasarlo yo. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Y cualquier cosa, pues, eh, Zaira, en cualquier otra ocasión que haya otro espacio de tiempo para sesión privada, se puede quedar y, y continuamos donde nos hemos quedado ahorita, ¿verdad? Ok. Para bien. seguirle ayudando con su past tense. Ok, Zaira. So, in that case, we will finish here. But thank you for staying with me a moment. Uh, I don't know if you have any comments before I close the session. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Moment, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Zaira. Have a good night. See you good on night, Monday. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. See bye. you Monday.